Chuck Schumer has been getting a lot of positive attention after he struck a deal with Senator Joe Manchin on what is referred to as the Inflation Reduction Act, even though it does nothing about inflation. That's the legislation that was recently passed in the Senate that you know provides some money to combat climate change. It also has subsidies for fossil fuels and other related matters. Check out our reporting on that to get a detailed look at what the policy actually entails. But meanwhile, Chuck Schumer's son in law, this is very relevant, just landed a cozy job over at private equity group Blackstone. Blackstone, mm-hmm. you know, one of the private equity groups that's going around buying up entire neighborhoods of single family homes with that cheap, cheap money given to them by the Federal Reserve. Yeah, that Blackstone. Now, that story isn't really found in corporate media, but we'll report on it. Just two days after Schumer announced a deal with Senator Joe Manchin on a legislative package, Capital Account reported that the private equity firm Blackstone Group had hired Michael Shapiro, Schumer's son in law, as its managing director of government affairs. Hmm. Now, Michael Shapiro, a managing director based in New York, joined Blackstone from the Biden administration where he was deputy assistant secretary for economic policy at the transportation department. Shapiro also worked for Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign and in the Obama White House. According to his bio on the Blackstone website, Shapiro will be focusing on infrastructure investments and projects. Now, if you're worried about conflicts of interest here, you know, seems like there's a bit of a a revolving door situation going on here. You've got an official who has worked in the Obama White House, who worked for the Biden White House, and now suddenly he's working for a private equity group. Don't worry, Blackstone has released a statement telling you to calm down. Michael Shapiro will not be involved in any advocacy before the majority leader or his office related to Blackstone business. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, he doesn't know that his son in law just got hired for an incredibly well paying job right. to that to lobby someone like him. Yeah. Do you think that they actually have to meet for Schumer to figure out which side his family's bread is buttered on? No, this is a first of all, let's just let's be fair, Jenk. I'm sure this is a merit based hire. Of course. Um, yes. I'm also sure that Chuck Schumer's son in law never talks to him about legislative matters ever. Ever. I'm sure there won't be any lobbying going on within the Schumer household. No, not at all. Now here's a Schumer's connection to Blackstone. Donors from Blackstone are Schumer's, Oh, that's interesting, third largest campaign contributor in this election cycle. No, and I watch mainstream media, they tell me that doesn't affect politicians at all. Like the millions of dollars Schumer's getting from them, no, Schumer's way too honest. No, super honest, which is why he loved the convenient excuse of Kirsten Cinema jumping in and ensuring that they stripped out the tax provisions that would have impacted private equity groups. Yeah. Right? That was just a the wild coincidence. Wild co- coincidence. And by the way, Julia Rock did an excellent job with this report in Jacobin, wanted to give her some credit. But let's take a quick look at this info from Open Secrets. They do great work that helps us follow the money. And these are the top contributors to Chuck Schumer between 2017 and 2022. First top contributor is Democracy Engine. Then the second top contributor is Nextera Energy to the tune of $281,700. Did, didn't all the energy companies just get a giant corporate subsidy that we're supposed to celebrate? Yeah. Huh, yeah. That's weird. That's weird. and wait, that's his second biggest, and the third biggest owner is Blackstone, and they just got a huge subsidy. Yeah, private equity. Yeah, huh, a mm-hmm. loophole. Yeah, mm-hmm. a loophole. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So in total, wow. Blackstone has spent more than 1.5 million on lobby lobbying so far in 2022, according to Open Secrets. But this is all just a coincidence, everybody. No, no, it's just a coincidence. No, Black is better than that, Anna. Blackstone is doing it for love of America. Totally. Yeah. They're like, oh, we don't care about the tax break. We just want to give to these wonderful politicians out of the goodness of our heart. I know that because I watch mainstream media. They genuinely say insane things like that. Like they're, and, and they, to be fair, it's more implicit. They're like, oh, money in politics. No, we're never going to talk about that because it's not at all relevant to their motivations of politicians. Okay, now this is, but this isn't money in politics, this isn't campaign contributions. We talked about that. That's open secret stuff. But we started with was no direct. Cash into his family's pocket. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's three different family members. One works at Facebook, and I was gonna say, well, look, people work at different places. That's not that big a deal, right? Like, for example, if yeah, this is a fun fact, Amy Schumer, the famous comedian, 
is uh, Schumer's niece, okay? Uh, but Amy Schumer is not getting any deals from the government, so not every family member of Schumer is crooked, etc. Right? I didn't know that about Amy Schumer. Yeah, isn't that oh. fun fact, uh, or not so fun fact? Uh, That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, but it turns out that uh, Mark Warner, which I was shocked by, was trying to hold Facebook accountable, apparently, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden Schumer goes and stops another Democrat. From holding Facebook accountable. Be cool, things, be cool. Things that make you go, hmm, but okay, but that's the least problematic one. Then another daughter works uh, as a lobbyist for Amazon. Yeah, Jessica, his daughter Jessica. Yeah, now there's tons of legislation about holding Amazon accountable on monopoly power, which they definitely have and abuse, etc. But Schumer just, and by the way, Klobuchar, Klobuchar of all people, these are massively conservative Democrats, Warner and Klobuchar. And Klobuchar is like, well, we, I think we've got 60 votes because I think we got some Republicans. To hold these big tech guys responsible. She was like, I just can't find my schedule. Where is it? Hey, did my daughter get millions and millions of dollars from Amazon for lobbying us? I mean, not lobbying us. No, just coincidences, everybody. And mainstream media goes, oh, yeah, when Trump does it, it's corruption. When Schumer does it, no, just total coincidence. And so the Blackstone son in law there, no, he got hired by Blackstone to lobby government. When his father in law is Chuck Schumer, the Senate Majority. That's yeah. not subtle. Yep. Not at all. That's rubbing it in your face, going, what are you gonna do about it? I own all the major channels. I own all the major media. I told them to lie about it. So there's nothing you could do. All right, one more thing about that. You know what they got in return? So they were or they were never going to do the close the carried interest loophole that affects um, uh, private equity, okay? But they threw in an extra free tax loophole. For those private equity companies, that's right. When they said, "Oh, remember that fifteen dollar minimum, fifteen percent minimum tax that we're giving on corporations?" No, you guys get a loophole for that. Why? Why would they get a loophole for that? Uh, because we got bribed, and my family members are all getting rich off of them. That's why they're getting a loophole. You de the loophole was worth thirty-five billion dollars. Hey, Jake Tapper, Anderson Cooper, are you guys ever going to ask how are you going to pay for that? How are you going to pay for that? Thirty-five. Billion dollars, and they just treat it like, oh, it's totally normal. Here's another politician robbing you blind. And any this stuff, no one in Washington says this. No one. We would be tarred and feather in D.C. How Chuck Schumer? Are you calling him corrupt? That is outrageous. Why is it outrageous? The facts are indisputable. And so, look, I'm going to give you one more thing that's really interesting. Why even pretend? If you're the Democrats, Cinema, Schumer, you know you're going to give them these loopholes. You know you're never going to take that loophole away. So why bother pretending? There's two reasons why. One is if they say to a certain industry, we're going to take something away from you, then that industry then gives them tons of campaign contributions. And then they say, okay, we'll release the hostage. And we will not do the thing that we said we were gonna do now that we have been sufficiently bribed. And the second reason is they know that all mainstream media will do false propaganda on their behalf. Democrats looking to take away the carrot interest loophole. They're gonna punish private equity. Democrats are looking to punish private equity. And they never come back and tell you they didn't punish them at all. They gave them a handy, okay? So that's because mainstream media are gigantic liars. And they never tell you the truth about politics. Politicians are corrupt, and yes, that definitely includes Democratic leadership. Now, um, I need our viewers to do a wellness check on Hal Sparks. I'm concerned that he might be uh, in the corner, in a fetal position, rocking back and forth because we had the audacity to call out the corruption in the Democratic Party. So check in on him, make sure he's all right. Say, no, they need the 35 billion. The bankers should get the 35 billion. No, don't, don't protect the voters. No, you lie for Schumer. You have to lie. For, why won't the Young Turks lie for Schumer? Why won't they yeah, do it? Yeah, we don't lie for anyone. We're not interested. Schumer's not our daddy. Uh, we're adults. <laughs> Maybe uh, he's Hal's daddy. I don't know. I mean, he's got so many sons and daughters running around getting paid. Hal, at least I hope you're getting paid. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.